my dear brothers and sisters in the risen lord on 11th sunday the mother church welcomes us to cogitate on the theme of proclaiming the kingdom and curing the sick the mission of the disciples prolongs and extends that of jesus proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of god to a people burdened by discouragement suffering and the absence of perspective of salvation mission and compassion compassion is one of the qualities of jesus with the evangelist often emphasized to characterize his unique way of coming close to those who suffer and it also expresses his attitude vis-a-vis the collective suffering of his people the text is one of the considering today also mention this attitude as the foundation of jesus evangelizing practice proclaim the kingdom and curing every disease and sickness when he saw the crowds he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without shepherd matthew chapter 9 verse 36 it is impossible not to think of the real historical situation which the people were experiencing under the domination and the impoverishing blundering of the roman empire they are harassed and helpless without a shepherd or a guide to open our horizons of salvation compassion is not pity at it entails more than interest it signifies sharing and making the sufferings and aspiration of others our own be compassionate is practicing solidarity because it was a enormous and urgent task jesus summons the disciples so that they might proclaim that the kingdom of heaven has come near matthew chapter 10 7 from then on the content of disciples vocation is very clear proclaiming the kingdom on the basis of daily commitment to establish life where it is lacking where there is a marginalization and predominance of the spirit of injustice the face of such enormous shortages and sufferings afflicting and burdening the people in our world society the meaning of the mission is urgency and its vastness continue proclaiming the kingdom and giving life we have to discover the specific and effective ways to do that through the discernment and our commitment search and our committed search starting with the communities and the lucid analysis of concrete circumstances for the search to be authentically pastoral we must bear in mind two evangelical attitudes indicated by jesus such trusting prayer to the father the lord of the harvest and the gratitude to surrender you receive without payment give without payment matthew chapter 10 8 gratitudeness and the option for the poor in reality salvation has been the tort Totally gratitude is the initiative of the love of God. Paul says so openly, God proves His love for us in that while we still were sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter five, verse seven. This is also the case of the covenant with the people of Israel, as we are told in the fourth reading. You have seen how I bore you. on eagle's wings and brought you to my sub exodus chapter 19 for god's liberating action converted them into his very own people likewise the church is called to be god's people 
and a sacrament of salvation for all human kind because it is its origin is in god's absorbed in his own internal affairs it makes it go to the harassed and helpless of the society being the church of jesus necessarily leads it to a responsible option for the poor that is why the church will show its fidelity to the evangelizing and consoling mission received from the lord and to the covenant let us pray earnestly for this grace during this eucharist sacrament may god bless you amen